Turn into the sun Which tries to blind our eyes Oh, and dancing forever Under the beautiful skies Somewhere over the ocean A spark dressed to ignite I'm stuck in my hometown Waiting for your Hello Gemini, this is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week commencing the 29th of August until the 4th of September 2016. The first card for you is representing, how do you feel about yourself? Your card is, the Two of Swords. This is a card of choice and of the difficulty of making a decision. This card indicates that you are currently being faced with a difficult decision but you are attempting to hide from it and pretending to yourself and others that if you ignore the decision long enough, it will go away of its own. However, the decision will not go away simply by your willing it to depart. Your conscience will eventually force you to deal directly with the situation. The Two of Swords therefore serves as a reminder that life's decisions are frequently quite difficult and raise the possibility of painful consequences. However, you must take the bull by the horns and make your decisions with your best intentions, fully aware of the possible consequences. Avoidance will ultimately lead to a greater conflict. The blindfolded woman in this card is also an indication that you lack the information you need to make the right decisions at this time. You may be missing something, such as threats or any potential risks, alternative solutions, or key pieces of information. Once you are able to remove your blindfold and see the situation for what it really is, you will be in a much better position to determine your path forward. Research your options more widely, seek outside opinions and feedback, and ask yourself what you are missing here. Why is this decision so challenging to make? What extra information do you need? This card also reflects the need for greater balance in your intellectual life. You need to take a break from your usual way of thinking, so that you can begin to consider alternative ideas and viewpoints. You also need to be very diplomatic and weigh up the pros and cons of both options that are available to you, and to consider that there may indeed be another way around the problem. You need to compromise or let things stand as they are. Similarly, the Two of Swords can reflect indecision and being at an impasse with regards to an important matter. Again, there is only so much that you can try to put off. At some point or another, you are going to have to make a decision or have a point of view in order to get things moving again. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the Three of Swords. This card represents rejection, sadness, loneliness, heartbreak, betrayal, separation and grief. Such events feel so painful because they are unexpected. However, the Three of Swords often serves as a warning sign to show when one or more of these are possible. By preparing for this difficult event, the emotional blow can be minimized or even prevented entirely. However, sometimes, pain, sorrow and grief are often a necessity in the journey of life. Without pain, 
there would be no challenge and no lessons learned. Pain can be a great motivator because it encourages you to surmount obstacles and ultimately learn from your mistakes. Each challenge you encounter creates that initial pain, which is inevitably turned into an opportunity to grow stronger and to change the direction of your life as a result of the lessons learned. While the pain may cloud your vision for a certain period, it will eventually allow you to see clearly and to put the past behind you. Though life seems meaningless at the time, recovery can and will occur. It takes faith, self-love, forgiveness and time. Count your blessings. This card also serves as a reminder that if you can start to see pain as a learning opportunity, life will suddenly become less painful. You need to really get in touch with pain and sorrow. This card is therefore encouraging you that you have the ability to conquer any pain that comes your way. Understand how the pain can help you grow. If someone has betrayed you and you do not think you can never love again, challenge that belief. Do not be surprised when your heart emerges from darkness, capable of loving even more than before. Moreover, this card also speaks of loss and difficulty, of sacrifice and broken relationships. The Three of Swords is also about release. When you have suffered a major setback, or loss, it is a good time to have a good cry, which is all part of the cleansing process. Expressing your sadness and letting it all out will then help you to move on to better times. However, it is also important that you continue to focus on the future path ahead. There can be a risk that you may become overly absorbed in the loss and the surrounding emotions that you lose sight of the need to just let go and move on. The loss becomes your focus rather than the recovery. It is time to accept the loss and then move forward with your life. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Ten of Swords. This card indicates that you are afraid of a painful ending which must occur for there to be growth and regeneration. This card also indicates that there will be a forceful re-evaluation or elimination of your previous attitudes about life, your views about yourself and what is important, and possibly your plans for the future. Despite the initial trauma associated with this change, the imposed re-evaluation can be a very positive thing. It is important to understand that while the means of your demise may not seem reasonable or fair, your previous thoughts and attitudes really need to change in order for you to reach a better place in your life. Rather than dwelling on the painful ending, it is important to look ahead and realize how these events free you up to completely reshape your life and choose a new direction for yourself. This card may also indicate that you are resisting an inevitable ending, because you are deeply worried about how much it is going to hurt you. However, what you are doing is delaying the inevitable and possibly making it even worse for yourself because you keep trying to put off something that needs to happen anyway for your own personal transformation. For example, a relationship may have come to an end but you are still intimate with your ex because you cannot bear to let go. This is only drawing out the pain much longer, and it is best to completely let go at this stage. Sometimes, this card may reflect fear of ruin, even if that ruin has not yet occurred. You are always be thinking of the worst case scenario and planning for the worst, even if it does not happen. This is only creating unnecessary fear and anxiety for you, and it is important that you return to the energy of the Nine of Swords and run a reality check as to whether things are as bad as they seem. Overall, this card represents an old situation that ended very badly. You are still carrying around wounds from that situation but you have buried them so deeply that you do not realize they are still present in your life and still hurting you. This old pain needs to be brought up and dealt with once and for all, so you can liberate yourself from these deeply inflicted wounds.
it may be difficult to experience the pain again but at least you are releasing yourself of this pain and allowing it to pass from your life. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you. Your card is, the four of swords. This card shows a period of rest and recovery after a time of challenge, with the promise that, once recovered, you can and will return to the challenge. In the meantime, the Four of Swords provides a new challenge, to stay silent and inactive. This is the time build up your mental strength. Meditate and spend time in a calm atmosphere. You need to replenish your strength and spend time in spiritual thinking, you need to rest and relax. This card is also a reminder that after every crisis and before every new challenge, there is always a time of relaxation and contemplation. Constant stress and tension will break even the hardest and most resilient of people but brief periods of rest enable you to refresh your energy, concentration and focus, ready for the next challenge. These rests should be used wisely, to heal the body and ready the mind. The Four of Swords is also a sign that you can stop worrying. Put down your defenses and take a breather from the chaos around you. This card suggests that now is the time to rest from some difficult times, perhaps the trauma of breakup or departure, relationship or family problems, financial and health worries, stress and conflict. Take a break. This is also not the time to make decisions, particularly when you are at your most vulnerable. In a practical sense, the Four of Swords is an indicator that you need to have some time out from your current circumstances, to reflect and review your progress so far. This is a good time to re-evaluate and reassess your priorities. It is almost like conducting your own post-implementation review following a major milestone or a major challenge. Create some time and space to reflect on what has worked well, what has not worked well and what you need to change for the future. Pausing for reflection after each major challenge will position you well for success in the future. The fifth card for you is representing, what is going against you. Your card is, the page of pentacles. This card is about manifesting your dreams and goals. However, there might be current blockages standing in the way of you achieving those goals. It may be that you have not planned sufficiently, or that you have become lazy and complacent and have lost sight of your goal. You may also be too busy daydreaming about new dreams and goals, without having taken any action on your original dreams and goals. So. You need to review your goals and think again about why you were originally motivated to achieve them. Think about what it will be like once you achieve that goal, and become recommitted to your objectives and the actions required to make your dreams a reality. This card can also indicate that you are focusing on short-term pleasures and desires rather than sustainable and long-term goals you will need to move beyond material satisfaction and towards what will bring you sustainable happiness and fulfillment. Similarly, you may be finding it difficult to get a specific project or idea off the ground. Each time you try, it seems to amount to nothing, or it takes you even further away from where you want to be. There is a lack of success here and a mounting frustration that perhaps you will never be able to achieve what you want. You may be losing faith in your talents and abilities. If this is the case, relax, lighten up and give yourself some space and downtime for a short period. Take a holiday or a break from your usual routine, and you will find that this helps you to re-energize and refocus. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the Seven of Cups. This card indicates that although dreaming is beautiful and provides inspiration for action, you must at some point abandon your castles in the sky and begin to build those castles in your real life. 
a choice must be made even though the apparent multiplicity of options seems to paralyze you with either fear or excessive anticipation. If you are unable to make a decision because of too many options, it is time to carefully evaluate the pros and cons of each option and make a thoughtful choice. You also need to be very clear about what it is you are working towards so that you can make the best choice. Make your decision with caution as all is not what it seems to be. Great opportunities may turn out to be major problems later on, while less enticing options may turn out to be golden opportunities. With the Seven of Cups, there is a risk of illusion. You need to separate what is real from what is illusion. Protect yourself against unclear or wishful thinking and habitual daydreaming. Oftentimes, this card shows choices and plans that have little or no basis in reality. Such things are typical of the developed imagination, and fine if they stay in the imagination. However when you try to implement those ideas in the real world you are leaving yourself open to inevitable disappointment when you realize that your vision simply does not work. The Seven of Cups is also a wish card. Each of the cups is filled with wishes such as wealth, beauty, success, and a nice home. However, not every cup is filled with a positive result. Some cups holding a snake or a demon and thus the Seven of Cups can be a mixed blessing. Be careful what you wish as you may just get it, and at a price. Temptation is associated with the Seven of Cups. With so many choices presented to you, it is easy to be swayed to that cup containing the snake of jealousy and cunning. Since this card is from the suit of cups, the temptation is likely to be sexual or emotional in nature the one-night stand, the extramarital affair, and all those other things that seem innocent and pleasurable at the time they are undertaken. But in the vast majority of cases, the pleasure gained temporarily is far outweighed by the consequences that last, in most cases, for an entire lifetime. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Four of Summer. Daily life can be full of hectic activities. You could grow distracted and not notice opportunities that are being offered to you. You may become so focused on what you don't have that you completely discount the gifts that you have been given. It's very important to spend time in nature, to take time to quiet your mind and heart. When doing so, you can ask God, the angels, and the fairies for messages about what opportunities are around you that you may not be seeing. Heaven is always offering you magical presents, but you have to be open to experiencing these gifts. A fairy stands in a prayer-like pose, clearly worrying over what she feels she has lost. Meanwhile, wonderful new opportunities beg for her to take notice of them. Additional meanings of this card taking someone or something for granted. The power of meditation. A lack of motivation. Not seeing the forest for the trees. Daydreaming. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get the instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks. Thank you.